guys, it's Deepika and I'm very excited because we have a very special guest today. Dr. Mona Gahara is here. Hey guys, so excited to be here. I'm so excited to have you here. If you guys remember, we've done a video together in the past about body care. I'll link it down below in case you guys wanna check it out. But Mona is somebody that I have been talking to since we met on that shoot. She's the real expert when it comes to your skin. So she happens to be in LA, so we just did a live for Tinted talking everything SPF and I was like, wait, this is like a really good topic and I think we need to make this an actual video because you guys ask me about this all the time. So I have no makeup on right now, just like doing the most, doing me. But you look beautiful and that's how everyone should go with their own glow, right? Thanks girl, yeah. I think so too. So there were so many questions you guys had on SPF, so today's video is all about answering SPF questions. And at the end of this video, if you guys have more questions, ask them in the comments down below and I'll bug her to respond to them. Absolutely, <laughs> it's a deal. Please subscribe to her channel, it's the best. It's the best, come on, don't you want more of this? You're Egyptian, right? I'm Egyptian. I just feel like our skin, and tell me if I'm wrong, all skin burns. Absolutely, it's a, just a big fallacy to think that just because we have brown skin, we won't burn. Every skin type can burn and so we have to protect ourselves. That being said, it can be really confusing. It's you, so confusing. You walk into the aisle at any big box drugstore and you're like, oh my God, I'm just gonna turn around and go get my whatever it is, my bottled water because I can't deal. Let's break it down. Yeah, I was gonna say, can we start at the very basics of it all? Can you tell us how to decode this thing? Absolutely, so what you wanna do first is you wanna look for this words broad spectrum. If it says broad spectrum on it, that basically means that the FDA has approved it to cover you from both UVA and UVB light. That's really important. Okay? And can you explain what the difference between UVA and UVB lights are? Completely. So this is how I remember it. B burns. So UVB is primarily what gives you burning and A ages. So that's primarily what ages us. But both are bad and both can kind of give you skin cancer. But remember, and we talked about this before, that there's other types of lights that we need to learn how to protect ourselves from now, like visible lights, like the ones that are all around us right now. Literally. <laughs> literally, literally surrounding us. Your computer, your phone, infrared lights, UVC lights, but we're not here to confuse you more. The bottom line is if you just wear your sunscreen, you're good. With broad spectrum. With broad spectrum. So SPF levels, like SPF 10, SPF 30 versus SPF 100, does it matter? How much does it matter? And how do I know what SPF level I need? Great question. 30 or higher is good for everybody. That's where everyone should start. So here's a little fact. Medium skin brown people are are born, like have a God-given SPF. Like we probably have a SPF out of the hatch, out of our moms of 13. Really? Yeah, but the American Academy of Dermatology wants you to have an SPF of 30 or higher every single day. So even our brown skin doesn't protect us to the degree that we need to be protected. So 30 is the magic number. Well, okay, I remember growing up and getting like Neutrogena SPF 100. So yeah. is there a point where it just doesn't matter and it's just a marketing gimmick or it doesn't really do something? So SPF 100 does protect you more than SPF 30, but if you're using an SPF 30, you're fine. 100 probably blocks out 99% of the rays. As long as you're reapplying it every two hours. Two hours, I was mind blown when I heard that number. How many of you guys actually do that? Exactly. Yeah, crickets, <laughs> exactly. Crickets. Why do you think they even make anything less than 30? I don't, you know, this is a big question. I have no idea. Patients come into my office all the time and they have four and two. I didn't even know that was out there. But if you look really closely on those bottles, it'll actually say that it promotes skin cancer and it's not good for your skin. No. Yeah. So you have to be really careful. I don't know why they would do it. I think people still want it, but I would not advise getting it. Mineral sunscreen versus chemical sunscreen. Is there a difference in how much it protects your skin? Why pick one versus the other and why do two different ones even exist. So chemical sunscreens use chemicals to absorb ultraviolet light. Mineral sunscreens use naturally occurring minerals like titanium dioxide or zinc oxide to actually just block out light. So they work differently. They both work equally well, although some reports think that chemical sunscreens work better. I prefer mineral sunscreens, but I was telling Deepika earlier that I take like the anti-tinder approach to sunscreen use. Anti-tinder approach, Do I take not. that approach to light. <laughs> Don't grab the one that looks the best or smells good or looks good because it will not last. You have to take time to get to know it. You have to read about it. You have to experience it because that's the relationship that's gonna last. Biggest question I think everyone here has is, why the hell does a gray overcast freaking exist? Why? I, that why? Is, it's so annoying, it's so annoying. It has to do with the ingredients in the sunscreen. If you choose a chemical sunscreen, most of the time there's chemicals in there that's masking that gray overtone and that's why they don't have them. Mm. But when minerals are naturally occurring minerals and there's not so many chemicals in there, that's why you have that whitish, grayish overtone. But there are certainly enough products out there, and we can talk more about this, yep. that do not have that. Let's start at drugstore. Your favorite drugstore SPF and why? So I 
I like La Roche Posay Anthelios Ultralight Mineral Fluid, and that's SPF 60. Just a small name. It's a really long name. It takes you 20 minutes to say it, but only a second to buy it. <laughs> and the reason I like it is number one, it's cosmetically elegant. It looks great on brown skin. It absorbs right in. And number two, when you're outside and it's hot and you have sunscreen on, you don't want to be like all greasy. No. It really actually is absorbent. So I'm a huge fan of that, and I think it does the job very well. And then what about a more high end for somebody who doesn't do the drugstore thing? Which so is really I would weird. go with this. I yep. actually love this brand, Shiseido, and it's this invisible sunscreen that you put on and you don't even know it's on. And again, you can testify to this. It's extremely cosmetically elegant. Yeah, right. it is. It totally is. And what about body versus face? So at the end of the day, it really is just the marketing thing. I mean, anything that you buy for your face, you can put on your body. Anything you put on the body, you could do on your face. That being said, if you feel comfortable and like to have two different products, there is a brand that is called Elta, Elta Moisturizing Facial Sunscreen. That's a great one for your face. And then for your body, like we talked about before, I like the Neutrogena product. Yeah, brands that have SPF products for your face and body that do not leave a gray overcast. We have Super Goop, Glossier, Shiseido, La Roche Posay, Color Science, Aven, and Color FX. Powder SPFs. Is there a difference between the two? There's one right here from Super Goop. It's SPF 45. It's a setting powder, sweat resistant. So you can wear it over your makeup, you know, if you're trying to reapply. This one on me is, I hope you guys can see, leaves a gray overcast, which is unfortunate, but they do have a darker shade than this. This is the translucent, which again shows like a little like this, but you know some that do work. Yeah, and I think powders are great, guys. Powders are, have such a role because that whole every two hour thing is just extremely annoying. Nobody has time to be applying sunscreen every two hours. So I like Color Science okay. with an E, and I like Aven and It Cosmetics. They're cosmetically elegant powders that are really easy to apply every two hours and have enough sunscreen on them to make sure that you're being protected from all the damaging lights. And that's an important thing because another question I had was, okay, well, what if I'm not going in the sun? Does it matter if I apply it every two hours? And the answer is... Absolutely, because visible lights, which means the light bulbs in your house or your office, those can cause skin damage and a really common condition, especially amongst brown women, called melasma. Are you familiar with <gasps> yes. melasma? Yes. Uh, visible lights can contribute to melasma. And if you don't have that sunscreen on, it's like a done deal. How much should we be putting on, on our face and our body? So let's demo. On your face, you should be putting on about a nickel size. Perfect. Exactly that amount all over your face. The amount of a golf ball or a shot glass should go over your entire body. Did anyone know that? Because I found that insane. But at the same time, it's a body. It's, it it's a to, body, yeah. right? Yeah. I always forget my neck. Where are the yes. places people always forget and they should be doing? So people always forget their part and their scalp. Yeah, guys, did you even think about that? Like the fact that your scalp burns? Because yes, it does. Absolutely. So that Elta brand has this great spray. It's called Elta Arrow. And I use it as my sunscreen sometimes and also as my dry shampoo. I'm not going to lie. Wow. So I love Elta Arrow. You should be using sunscreen on your lips, around your eyes. And don't forget the tops of your hands and your feet because those are places that get easily burned. And ears. And ears. Oh my God, see, I forgot ears and I wasn't getting How often should we go get checked? Once a year, you should go visit your friendly local dermatologist, but every single month, you should look at yourself, look at your body. And especially women of color and men of color, there are certain areas that I want you to focus on. Okay. I want you to look in your mouth. I want you to look down there. I want you to look at your palms and soles and under your fingernails because that's where we can get more skin issues. I don't know about you guys, but I, I would have never done that on my own like I never and what are you looking for so you're looking for any brown spots that are irregular or things that just aren't healing any lumps or bumps that aren't healing and it could be nothing but just go get it checked out it's worth it because anything with your skin is usually curable if it's caught early wow but in the case of poor Bob Marley he actually died of a skin cancer that was oh, under his you. toenail there was this big misconception that brown people couldn't get skin cancer any skin can burn any skin can get damaged but the good news is is that there's so much information out there and so many products that can make this easy Amazing. And what we're going to do is down below, I'm going to list out my favorite SPFs for face and body and Mona's favorite SPFs for face and body. I think holistically what we're looking for is that it's at least SPF 30, it doesn't leave a gray overcast, and it's mineral and chemical. I think we'll give options for both depending on what people. Exactly. Whatever works for you. Whatever cool. floats your boat. You just answered a million of my questions and I love you so much for it and I think you need to come back all the time. Anytime. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if you have any more questions, they can answer down, down below. You'll, Absolutely. You'll hit them I'll up. I'll be there. And if you're ever in Connecticut and need a dermatologist, hit up your girl. Her info's down below also. And we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Ciao. Happy SPFing, people. Put it on. Layer it on. Shot size. See you later. Bye.